Hey y'all, and welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, so we're not gonna beat around the bush. There's obviously a ton to do in Dallas, Texas. After all, it is one of the biggest metropolitan areas in the entire United States. But one highlight for the family to explore is the Perot Museum, a 14-story high facility housing over 10 art exhibits and a number of learning labs as well. So join Ariel for the day and get a look inside this family-friendly attraction. This is Dallas, and with over 24.9 million yearly visitors, there's one particular place you have to visit. With Deep Roots right here in Texas, you can't go wrong with stopping by the Perot Museum, a place to inspire minds through nature and science. The Perot Museum is a place where adults and children alike can learn together and take a break from their daily routines to ponder the many mysteries of science. From dinosaurs to precious gems, we got the inside scoop from PR and communications manager Nikki Stevens. The museum opened in 2012 um, to 11 permanent halls and one temporary exhibition hall. And tell me, when someone comes here to the museum, what can they experience? So we have four different floors spanning all kinds of things from engineering to natural history to paleontology, aka dinosaurs, <laughs> to um, earth science, to weather, everything that you can possibly think of, we have it here. We have different types of programming that kind of hits every single age. Well, you've been here. What's your favorite floor? What should we see? My favorite thing, honestly, is the fourth floor, which is paleontology. Um, there you get to see some of our um, very unique fossils that only our collections have that our Arctic dinosaur expert actually found and always see the temporary exhibit. Um, we always try to have really cool and engaging um, different ex exhibitions here and we also recently opened RTI um, which stands for Texas Instruments Engineering and Innovation Hall. Um, it is all brand new and it now includes a challenge lab which lets you create your own lunar lander and kind of test it to make sure that the lunar lander actually can land safely. So that's something super cool. Perfect. So. Well, I'm excited to take a look around and just explore. First up, we journey to South Africa to explore origins, fossils from the cradle of humankind. There we had the honor of speaking with acclaimed paleoanthropologist, Professor Lee Berger, about the groundbreaking discoveries. How did you find these, these treasures? The site where these fossils come from, Sediba behind us, I actually discovered using Google Earth. And then my then nine-year-old son, <laughs> on the second visit, said, Dad, I found a fossil, which was actually the clavicle, the collarbone of this skeleton, which led to one of the biggest discoveries in all of history. That is amazing. And how has it changed how people think about evolution? Human evolution is a lot more complex than we thought. It's not a straight line. It's not even a, a, a tree or a bush. It's more like a braided stream with intermixing. It's very complex, and these are part of that story of complexity. Why Texas? I started coming to Texas about eight years ago, the Dallas area, and I found this community that was passionate and tremendous and hungry for science. And I found this Perot Museum. And I thought, what an extraordinary gem. And I thought even back then that if I was ever going to do something like this, I wanted to bring it to this extraordinary museum. Now it's your turn to explore, so here's a list of events coming up, including Pino in the City going on February 4th in Houston. Don't move a muscle, Ariel goes deeper into the Perot Museum when Yellow Texas returns. Howdy y'all, welcome back to the show where Ariel is experiencing everything that is the Perot Museum. We are continuing our tour of the Origins exhibit with Dr. Becca Prosciutto. So we are in the first room of the Origins exhibit. Um, we are in the room that tells the story of Australopithecus sediba. Sediba is a two million year old hominin, so they're an ancient relative of modern humans. Awesome, so did you help assemble this right here behind us? Uh, I helped it, um, with the Putting, putting the exhibit together. together. Okay. But as a scientist, I work on the Homo naledi fossils, which are actually in the other room. Okay, well, let's go take a look. Okay, great. This room is talking about the story of the discovery of Homo naledi. The first bones were found in 2013 in a cave called the Rising Star Cave. And we're studying our shared human history, you know, where all of us came from. 
Next, it was time to fast forward into the future to the Texas Instruments Engineering and Innovation Hall, a place that makes math and science interactive for people of all ages. There was plenty to do here, but we had a very special mission in the Challenge Lab. Here we have a planetary lander that is supposed to simulate landing on a different planet. And uh, so we actually have this ca three capsule that has been 3D printed, and our objective is to add the landing part of the capsule. Uh, we use different materials of different shapes, sizes, and densities. So the idea behind this is that you get to uh, design, build, and test. Okay, well I hope... Are you ready? I hope we're both successful. Me too. Okay. We'll see. Let's try this. Let's All see right. if NASA will hire us later on. All right. So mine was 110.6, yours was 119.8. Uh, so we both succeeded, oh, uh, but because my number was lower, it was Yours would a have little, less damage. A little, Yours yeah. would have a little yeah. right, But we right. both succeeded. I mean, I'll give you that. Yeah, we both succeeded. NASA would hire us, right? I, mean, I think maybe. so, yeah. yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Now, we couldn't come to the museum without coming to the most popular floor, which holds Dinosaur Hall. So let's go take a look around. The T. Boone Pickens Life Then and Now Hall is filled with tons of ancient animal bones and fossils. And to give us a little insight, we met up with Mira. I am a assistant fossil preparator at the Pro Museum of Nature and Science. And my job is to get the fossils out from the rock. I get to work on really amazing things because these animals existed on Earth for millions of years ago. And it's just, it's very humbling. The Perot Museum was such an amazing institution. Not only was it enlightening, but it was interactive and entertaining. Whenever you're in the Dallas area, the Perot Museum is the perfect place for the entire family. All right, y'all, we have had ourselves quite the day here at the museum. As you can see, there is still more to explore, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll see y'all later. For details about the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, click on the link below for more information.